trying to snap in Blender, but you just can't get the sound right. Well, put your fingers together and kind of move them around. You have done it. Congratulations. Hey guys, welcome back to It's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at what I just said. Basically, um, we need to learn how to snap because there's a couple of people that I've seen uh, that have been having issues with snapping objects to other objects and some other various things. So, let's go ahead and get started today. Uh, we're going to start up a new project. Obviously, this is a new project here in Blender. Uh, let's go ahead and actually add another object. So, let's hit Shift A and let's uh, search for just like, let's just search for like maybe uh, a, a icosphere or yeah, something like that. There we go. So, let's hit G to move that over here. Maybe we want to snap this cube. Uh, S to scale that up a little bit. Maybe we want to snap this cube to the um, to the to the sphere. So that's what we want to do. So how do we do that? Um, there's a couple of ways we can do it, but for the most part, let's go ahead and just grab this cube and then hit this little magnet tool up at, uh, up at the top right in the center. Um, and then we have to change this from increment to vertex. And now you can see if I hit G and move this up to the um, to the to the sphere, it won't snap. And the reason it's not going to snap is because our cursor needs to be in the center of the sphere, not the object. So what I mean is, if you go ahead and hit G and then move your cursor to one of the vertices, as you can see, it will snap. But if I have my cursor over here and hit G and move it over and try to put this on the edge of the icosphere, sphere, it does not work because it goes off of the location of your cursor so if you go ahead and put this right here on the edges on the vertices of the icosphere then it will snap but like i said if your cursor is over here hit g move it over then it does not work i, I saw a couple people having issues with this i've heard of this before uh so we're gonna go ahead and, and clear that up right now so something else we can do is i saw a lot of people getting upset that they couldn't uh snap the scale and rotation of the object so if it s to scale this up you can see that it is not snapping to anything it's kind of just like a smooth transition so if you want to have this snap to scale or to rotation double hit r you can see that it will not do that so let's go ahead and uh, drop this down and then down here at the bottom you can see effect we have to select rotate and scale as well so now we hit s well actually let's go ahead and we have to change this to increment as well because it's not because there's no vertices to snap to so Essentially what's happening is there's no vertices to snap to out in the middle of nowhere like this. Let's get rid of this uh, sphere. Um, there's no vertices to, to snap to. So what it's doing is it has nothing to snap to, so it's not going to. So we have to change this back to increment. That way it will uh, snap to the different increments of the grid. Um, so then we hit S and you can see now that it will snap. As you can tell, it is snapping now. Uh, same thing with the rotate. Double tap R. You can see that it, it is snapping just like that, which is very nice. You'll love to see it. Um, and you can actually go ahead and choose different types of snap as well So if you want to snap to the edge or to the vertex like we just did earlier then You can do those you're probably not going to use too many of these other ones other than maybe vertex and edge um, You might use face, but for the most part It's gonna be these three these top three for the most part Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it the snapping feature in blender is very nice i hope you learned something new today that's gonna be it for today's tutorial um i will see you guys in the next one but until then bye bye